Gemini, we're looking at the rest of 2024 for you. Let's start with October. Your energy is showing up here and it looks like love, okay? Some of you might be eloping. You might be going to um, a JP and just getting it done, getting married, engaged, making something official in some way. There's some kind of announcement. Um, someone might be uh, getting unincarcerated, okay? Yeah, <laughs> honestly, um, that, that feels like some, a message for someone. It's like you're released. Okay, and there's also an energy of you're protected with this uh, agreement or with this announcement. It's something that you um, you no longer have to protect your relationship because now that it's out in the world, now that people know, like, your person's off the market, you're off the market. Why is this? It's almost like it was, um, especially if you're, or like, if you are in the spotlight, they're kind of showing me, like, a fame kind of energy. Um it's you're no longer burdened to do everything by yourself because with our powers combined like we can actually yeah wow or you're like meeting or marrying someone committing to someone celebrating engagements here wow what you got the star the sun like the three of cups this is beautiful energy where um you pop out and you're like hey we've got this going on and as a byproduct, you're almost stepping into the spotlight. And it, that could just be in your community, in your, like, friend group, or it could literally be, like, internet fame or worldwide kind of fame here that you're stepping into. But then you go back into your the safety of your bubble. Like, you're protected because of the, this person's uh, possible, like, actual security team or something like that. Take this how it resonates. It, it's Obviously, that's a big story. You take the parts that fit into your life. Okay, here and now. Yeah, so it's a, almost like a um, spur of the moment decision, a spontaneous decision. I do feel like whoever's the more masculine energy in this um, scenario is the one who is like, you know what, let's, let's just do it. Let's just go for it here. I also feel like there's a need to act quickly on this. There's a need to be present because we don't know what tomorrow holds. So someone could have experienced loss that gets them to this point in October where they're just like, you know what, life's too short, let's just do it. Um, but the world, it, the burdens of the world f from just this year, Gemini, feel like they've weighed heavy on you. And so this is a um, a welcome surprise or a welcome um, celebration if you knew that it was bound to happen. We might circle back to that, but let's have a look at November. Uh, the, I'm hearing like truth be told here, but that card is actually in another deck, so it hasn't come out yet. Okay. Yeah, I, I like there's an energy here of like with with this connection. Now, this might not be love. This could be best friend energy. This could be sibling energy. This could be... Um, you and a great collaborative partner in the month of October. So again, moving into November, it could be the energy here of um, with that kind of progression, that kind of, I want to say power again, honestly. Um, it's almost like a, a, a it, it, it gives you a platform. In some way, it gives you a platform that you have to get used to and that Yes, there's peace here, but there's also a sense of it makes you a little bit vulnerable to um, people who might want to hurt you. No wonder there was a, like a protection energy. It, it, that Now, that protection could make you feel like you're missing out on something, like a FOMO energy, because you're not used to living like that. Um, this is a very interesting message. But it's also the energy of that was such a great celebration. I want more. Um, and so how you're kind of like thinking about how do I create more of that in my life? Because I don't want that to be over. Almost a sadness of, of things being over. And I think the way you're coming about this. Do you know what? this? There's another message coming through that I can't deny. 
when someone hears about this engagement or announcement or whatever it is that's happening in October, you might have someone coming through that is going to be heartbroken and they're going to come through and say, I thought it was going to be us at the end. Um, now, don't let that be the thing that feels like it's sucking the life out of you. Um, the way you hold yourself to your truth of your emotions and and you recognize don't take this the wrong way, but you recognize the darkness that a certain relationship or situation bought and you're upfront about that, then that is the closure that someone needs here. Yeah, you've got the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands. Um, the Page of Wands is in a, in a reverse position. And again, you've got the Hermit at the bottom of the deck and it was showing up at the bottom of the deck before. So there's this energy here of... Um, Wanting to keep the celebration going, but knowing that you can't share all of your life. There's some things that have got to be private and you find a new outlet. You find a new way to allow your passions to um, be seen, heard, felt. Like as long as you're doing something here, but you're doing it with feeling this time. Okay. Interesting. What's the advice here? Yeah, this is a new, like... It's a choice for you. You've obviously made this choice in October, but again, you're making a choice in November. It's almost like you're doing it backwards to release certain people, places, and things from your life that will actually bring you more respect and an honor. To be completely honest, it's honor because you're honoring yourself, your emotions, your boundaries, then other people start respecting you. This is very empress energy. Um, it, 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 again, it feels like you're po you're poised, you're positioned um, to teach other people how to treat you is how this is coming across. So I hope that resonates. Let's have a look at December. Uh, with endings comes new beginnings. And with these new beginnings comes new roles. There could be a younger man in this scenario in, in your world playing a, a part in helping you evolve or helping you to learn how to use these new roles and put on many different hats. Again, this could be that your partner is younger um, and men take that as like masculine, okay, as energy rather than gender. There is a, a caution here. What's the caution about? What's the caution? Yeah, that someone is exactly who they say they are. So if someone's like joking about them being um, quick to cut people off, they absolutely will. Um, but I do feel here that there's, and maybe there's a need to cut someone off who has toxic behaviors. Okay, so it's like here you've got this big announcement. Here you're like releasing other situ situations and scenarios is what I was going to say. And then in December, I feel like it's even more so. But it's doing, it's doing, you're doing that because of how much you're loving yourself. You're really like, you could be going through a, a Saturn return in the like last part of this year here. Um, where you're really like stepping into adulthood. You're really maturing. You're really... Um, feeling true love, uh, whether that's from yourself or from some like from someone else as a friend or a, a lover, but this is helping to move a lot of things forward in your life that you are extremely passionate about, and really ending things that are unhealthy, unhealthy attachments to people, unhealthy communication styles, people who unhealthily communicate with you. Um, People that overindulge, especially drinkers, in ways that do not support the way you like to love yourself, that then could rob you of the integrity, the poise that you were showing up here with in November to be able to love others. So in order to love them, you have to let them go. And I feel like that progresses things so much in your life. Your overall energy moving into 2025 is banter and fun and collaboration and progress and ideas and it just feels really um healthy it feels energetic 
yeah, work through your feelings is a big thing for you over the next few months and focus on the positives because I feel like um, you're like you're getting lucky in ways that um, you might not have ever thought of would happen this way. Um, so go with